Hi there, sign of Virgo. Let me turn this around a little bit. Hope you're doing really well. My name is Kim, and I'm going to get a next 48-hour reading in for you today. This is the um, original tarot, so let's go ahead and pull a Celtic cross. And as always, I ask that your angels join us so that the messages are for your most high. All right. Any messages for Virgo? Bottom of the deck is the Two of Swords. Six of Cups is the issue. That is your soul, your family connections. Is this a challenge? Careful what you wish for. Hmm. Okay. This is a decision of some sort. The Page of Cups might have been the news of, you know, something new in, in your life that's um, a good, good news. Like maybe a, a pregnancy or a start of a new job or something like that. You have a lot of pages. So, yes, you have a lot of children, like, energy here. If it's not that, then it's just a ton of people around you and getting, like, lots of messages. Waiting on the message, though. You're waiting on some really good news. You know that you want to invest in something that has to do with, like, your, your networking, your soul family, your ties to people your soul mate, you're waiting on really good news here. And because, why? Because you're ready for, um, it feels like for a reset or for a new, something new. Right. Chariot. Something new that will get you moving. And maybe, look, maybe you want to invest in some kind of, like a vehicle, a car, a new car, or a trip, a, some sort of travel. It might be that because um, there's something about so not everybody is, is getting along uh, when it comes to what what wish was granted or something like that. The Three of Cups is in the reverse for how you feel and that's the... Um, it's like feeling like um, not really wanting to get together with people. It's kind of not wanting to do anything with people at the moment. It's not necessarily, it could be just like not getting along or gossip or something like that. You're busy focusing on and visualizing your expansion, your growth, and, and something about your own investment. Of course, this can indicate a trip to where you're wanting to go. So, why do we have the Nine of Cups in the reverse? Why do we have that in the reverse? The Eight of... Okay, so, you just haven't received news or there's an issue with communication. Haven't heard from somebody. Maybe that's what makes you upset. So, they wish maybe that you hear from somebody or that you get this good news. And then maybe that will be what moves you forward. So I feel like in a way you could be waiting on things to um, temper out or people to get along more. So there might be a, a, a sitting or a pause, a wait. Ace of Wands reverse is you're definitely dealing with something from the past. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, they're, they're saying make some plans, especially with whatever this opportunity was in the past that might be coming back around. Make some plans because you have the Wheel of Fortune card. And that means that things are destined to go good. They're uh, fated to turn in a really good direction for you here. That's a good card to get. All right, Temperance in Reverse. The Fool. Huh. It's going to have to be, um, hmm. it's hard to trust people that you already know ha have not been that trustworthy, but 
I think that when you get news or hear this good news, then it might be divine timing for you to have an adventure, a new journey, and to be able to trust a situation. So it's like it's divine time um, for this trust to come back, for um, this the strength here, uh, the ties that bind, you know, or the bond, really, um, those to be strengthened. Tell me about the Ten of Cups reverse. This is like the fear. The fear is that not everybody's going to be happy. Well, that always happens anyway, but it is the fear, so we don't want to bring it about by thinking about it too much, but... If something's missing, is it the person who's usually really committed to the family or the head of the household when it comes to finances? King of Pentacle energy coming out. It's divine timing to get that energy um, back on a taking a, a new trusting adventure with that King of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. So you might be dealing with Taurus. You also have the fixed signs, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, um, Ace of Swords, and the Queen of Wands in the reverse, is there's truth about something about, um, someone really just, there's a truth or clarity coming in about somebody who just didn't, um, go after something, like, was afraid, um, afraid, or truth or clarity, afraid of the scales being balanced, for whatever reason that is. That could be Aries. This could be uh, Libra. So the truth and the clarity, though, usually comes in to help you win a battle. And maybe it is. Maybe you win a court case because of that six of pentacles coming out. The scales do get balanced. Yeah. So, though it might be unclear on how to have some kind of justice in a situation or how to be brave and go about it, it's going to happen anyway. What, this is what goes around comes around and it's good. Um, it's success, especially in Pentacles. And it's success because it's time. So, the only real issue here about going after your success is being brave and um, putting yourself out there to be able to do so. Some of you all could be thinking about, like, really starting to date again, even though you haven't. Like, you could be thinking about that because of this King of Pentacles um, is the archetype of someone that can take care of everything, like uh, financial, with family, and business. And there's a really good sign for finances. Number eight says, I am successful. Your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other. You are self-sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions. Eight representing the ebb and flow, the infinite loop of creation. I am successful. Number eight. That's what I got for you, Virgo. Sending you love and light. Bye-bye.